Let's talk about a junction field effect transistor. We're going to use an n-channel JFET. I'm using the uh, J112, and this is how they're constructed. The drain and the source are tied to a piece of N material, hence the N-channel, and the, uh, the gates are uh, P-type material. Now, without any voltage on the gate, the uh, there's current, current can flow from the drain to the source. And on this one, it's about uh, 50 milliamps is all it's allowed to flow through there. If we put a negative voltage on the gate, we reverse bias the gate, it forms a depletion region here, and it, it blocks off the current from flowing. So we're going to set it up as a switch. So I have a my 5 volt power supply here, I've got a 150 ohm resistor, and then I have my, my LED here, tied to the drain. Goes through the drain to the source, and back to the, to the uh, battery here. Now, this is going to be lit all the time, current's just going to flow through here. In order to turn it off, I need to put a negative voltage on the gate. I have to reverse bias this gate here. So I'm going to do that with a, uh, the battery here. I have the positive here, negative up here. And when I turn the switch on, I'm going to put a negative uh, four and a half volts onto the gate. It's going to form a depletion region in here, cutting off the current and turning off the, the LED here. This 10K pot is just to bleed off the gate here. Once you charge that gate up and then take it off, it it won't uh, turn off unless the uh, voltage is bled off of there. So here's my unit here. I turn on the uh, this power here. And uh, in order to turn it off, I have to uh, reverse bias the gate. So I put the uh, push the switch and the, the LED turns off. So that, that circuit works good. What I want to use it for though, is for a uh, current limiting circuit. I want to have an LED and I want to be able to run it at 5 volts up to 30 volts and I don't want to have to worry about uh, you know at changing the resistance or anything I just want it to stay at the same brightness the whole time so if you take the gate and you tie the gate to the source directly you're going to have zero voltage on the gate gate source voltage will be zero and You'll, this will just allow about 50 uh, milliamps to flow through the uh, from the drain to the source, okay? We don't want 50 milliamps, we want about 20 milliamps or so, so I'm going to put a, a resistor in here and it's going to drop some voltage onto the gate here, some negative voltage, and it's going to form a depletion region and it's going to regulate the current flow through here, okay? So I'm going to have a steady current flow through here. I'm always going to have the same amount of voltage dropped across the resistor because of the current's the same. And so we need to find out what size this resistor is. So in order to do that we uh, we take a look over here. This uh, this RS here, the resistor on the source here is going to be equal to this VGS off divided by the ID which is our current that we want times the uh, 1 minus the square root of our current we want divided by IDSS. Now this VGSS off and the IDSS are both in the uh, in the data sheets here. VGS off, gate source off, uh, cutoff voltage. Now that's between minus 1 and minus uh, 5 volts depending on uh, there's a minimum max on this particular unit here. And the IDSS that's going to be uh, 50 milliamps. So or excuse me, five milliamps. So we're going to plug those numbers in here. So I picked, uh, you know, I picked a minus two here. I could pick, you know, I should maybe go two and a half, but I put minus two there and uh, 20 milliamps. And this is five milliamps. So I have my five milliamps divided into my 20 milliamps. That's going to be four. Square root of four is uh, two. One minus two is minus one. So it's going to be a minus 1 over here. And I take my 20 milliamps into uh, minus 2. That's going to be minus 100 times a minus 1. It's going to be 100 ohms. So. so I picked 100 ohms over here. And we'll see if that limits the current to what I want. So here's a unit here. And if I turn this on, I've got 5 volts across it right now. Can we see that? Yeah. And I'm going to put the uh, ohm or the current meter on here zero that out and I've got about uh, 16 milliamps on it I don't have my 20 but 16 
is good. I could change that uh, resistor, maybe put 90 ohms in there, so bring up the current. But I think 16 is going to be fine for that. So I've got uh, 5 volts here, 15 milliamps now. I'm going to turn the voltage up. 10 volts, I've still got my 16 milliamps. Uh, 15 volts, 17, 20, 16, um, 25, still my 16 milliamps. Can we see that? Oh, you can't see that. There we go. I'll start over. We've got 17 milliamps. 27 volts, I still have my 17 milliamps here. 31 volts, still 17 milliamps. You can still lit the same, so I'll turn that back down to my uh, 5 volts. Yeah, it's about 60. I went down to 15, whoop, sorry. 5 volts is about 14 milliamps, or 15 milliamps, so within a milliamp. So that works out pretty good. I can put the uh, diode on my uh, power supply and it's going to stay the same brightness from 5 volts to, to 30 volts on there and uh, it's going to maintain this uh, 14 or 15 milliamps through there. Now they do uh, sell a constant current diodes. They have CLDs and CRDs, current limiting diodes and current regulating diodes. All they are is a, a JFET with the gate tied to the source with uh, some kind of resistance in there depending on the current you want. So uh, I happen to have these uh, JFET, so I'm just going to make up my own little unit here. So it works good from 5 volts to uh, 30 volts. I have the same amount of uh, current flowing through the, uh, through the unit there. So uh, it's good. Uh, thank you.